What's up everyone, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to replace a turn signal bulb which is also a daylight running bulb on a GX470 2003. As you can see on this side it's properly working and on this side it's not of course. So we're going to replace that bulb today and you can also buy this bulb at O'Reilly's AutoZone, any automotive store and they usually run around $5 around there. So let's get down to it, let's replace it. Okay you guys so the first thing you're going to have to do is take out all the clips that are holding these plastic piece and also this plastic piece too. So I have already done that, um, so I'm going to take them out right now. And once you have taken them out, you have the most access to the headlight. So. Now I could actually see all the plugins there. So the first one's gonna be the um, high beam, low beam, and then the turn signal also on the bottom. Um, it's gonna be hard to show you guys exactly where the turn signal bulb is, um, but I'll definitely try for you. Okay, you guys. So this is gonna be actually the best view that I could possibly give you guys. Um, this is gonna be the back of the headlight. You're gonna see the high beam, low beam, and the turn signal bulb is actually gonna be a little bit lower. Um, but definitely take a peek down there and you will see it. Okay, you guys, so once you guys locate where the turn signal is, um, what you basically do is turn it and pull at the same time. And then it will release itself out. And also for the bulb too, um, you're going to have to turn it and just pull on it. And there we go. You get the bulb out. And this one is actually pretty used up. As you can see, the new one's going to be actually bright orange. And this one's almost yellow. So that's one of the things is, and also there is a fuse inside. Um, if it's not fully connected, that's how you know also that it has popped and it does not work anymore. But yeah, there you guys go, and put the new one back in. Exactly the same thing, just the opposite way, and there we go. Okay, I guess, so now let's put the new ball back inside and make sure this works. And once, once you put it back in, make sure you turn the bulb also just to make sure it's in place. And do the same thing with the socket when you put it in back inside the bulb, inside the headlight. And you're going to actually hear a click too. Um, that's how you know the bulb is actually fully in with the socket. And let's see if it actually works. Okay, you guys, uh, once you have put the turn signal ball back inside, make sure it works, um, make sure everything else is back where it's supposed to be, the two plastic pieces that we took off earlier in the video, um, also the clips that are there to make sure it is secure, it doesn't bounce around or anything like that in your engine, you don't want that, um, and also this video could be used for the high beam, low beam, turn signal, whichever other bulbs that are in the headlights, just because they are right behind there, and I did show you guys earlier in the beginning um, exactly where they are located, and I hope you guys like this video. Like, share, subscribe, and see you guys in the next video.